Okay, guys, so uh, let's talk about Tesla stock. So Tesla stock closed on Friday, uh, April 24th at $722. So for the trading session, we were up just over 2%. So this is good, as you can see, guys, over the last couple of days, we've basically been uh, basically just treading water, treading water. And I think a lot of this is for anticipation for April 29th earnings guys so we are really close to see how tesla has been affected by the whole coronavirus pandemic so i think this is some really really uh exciting times for shareholders and things like that it seems like everybody is on the edge of their seat i know i am and i know a lot of you are as well or some of you are, are holding tesla options and some of you uh, own a large amount of stock so we're really going to see what's going on the good thing is is that although the stock has been basically tested some resistance uh over the last 30 trading days it's there's been there's been a quite a lot there's been some buying as well so right here down around seven hundred and eighty dollars the, the buyers came back in so that that leads me to say that people are very optimistic about the upcoming earnings report and we're going to find out earnings in a a couple of days so the countdown right now is around four days or april 29th guys so make sure you're checking the news and make sure you guys out there uh if you are basically trading short term and things like that that you can use trailing stops and things like that if things go against you you don't want to uh have a huge loss just in case the stock goes in the wrong direction but you also want to be able to profit if the stock climbs much much higher so for some of you guys out there definitely uh take a look into things like uh, put options and stuff like that as protection against your position i'm going to record a video that explains that but basically i wanted to answer a question i received earlier about put options so basically what a put option does is that it allows you to make some money in case the position goes south on you so let's say you bought a put option at around the strike price uh you know just around below where we had the, the latest support so around like 372 dollars if tesla stock uh, re reacts negatively to earnings and the stock goes below that support then you're going to make some money on that put option but if tesla stock obviously goes higher you're going to lose your premium so i'm going to talk more about that in the future but i want to also get into today's latest news about tesla's took one step forward to their one million mile battery technology so in the article as it says a newly released patent from tesla has teased what it appears to be a step towards elon musk's one million mile battery target the patent describes a new a new lithiation am i pronouncing that right guys correct me if i pronounce that wrong <laughs> process for battery cells which has the potential to improve the quality of cells and possibly even save on but basically what's going to happen is is that this battery will basically to make the car a lot longer lasting so as it says here uh, in summary the use of nca electrodes and batteries would allow for present themselves without impurities the lack of contaminants could lead to an increased lifespan of cells together helping tesla take a job in its quest to produce a one million mile battery for its vehicles so why is that so important well simply it would basically make the vehicle last longer so instead tesla's battery technology could lead to its vehicles lasting 20 years far longer than pro power cars it appears the company is planning to create a product line that could stay with owners for extended periods with relative no annual maintenance. All that together can very well be the catalyst for society's acceleration towards sustainability. So that is excellent news, guys. So if they are able to basically produce a battery that lasts a 1 million miles over the lifetime of the car, currently most Tesla cars are sitting at around uh, half a million miles that would do wonders for the stock long term guys so uh i'm going to close out this video for today so be sure to smash this, this, that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel because i post videos on tesla every weekday monday through friday so be sure to check out my latest video coming up next week so that's it for now guys take care